wrestling merchandise and memories, merchandiseandmemories.com. And we've got a very special episode of Bulldogs Unboxings today because we're going to unbox not one, not two, not three, but nine wrestling figures. Uh, this is this is historic. I don't believe this has ever been attempted before. Uh, I, I may not make it just through the pure stress of this. I will be going through the, the unboxings fair, relatively quickly as opposed to, you know, taking time for each one and that sort of thing. And just the, just so you, just so you have some background here, the whole idea is that, uh, ignore the magic spoon cereal box there, but uh, the whole idea behind this is that I do not have a lot of women's division figures from WWE. I, I, you know, maybe three or four altogether, but I, I decided I wanted to do a collection. A lot of these are basic figures, um, probably not the, the best versions of them, but you know, been picking these up for some time on the on the cheap, and I figured you know these these are mostly current and mostly basic figures, and uh, we'll see we'll see what we have here. All right, so for our women's division mega soda unboxing, we are going to begin with none other than the man. Oh, can't really see it very well. Maybe if I move back here, the man Becky Lynch. This is from the SummerSlam 2020 basic figures and uh, it is it is fairly basic but let's let's crack it open definitely needed a Becky Lynch for my collection let's see what we get here I mean it's not the best it's not the most current figure in the world but it's okay this is from her I believe SummerSlam 2019 appearance I'm trying to remember who she wrestled but I don't remember offhand um, you can see just in the detail she's got a little bit of detail on her face like some makeup or, or uh, I don't even know like some paint or something like that it's hard to see um, but otherwise it's kind of a, a silver and purple outfit again this is this is a basic figure of Becky Lynch but it's fine it, it's not the most current but it's not the most dated either so uh, number one Becky Lynch not a bad figure Figure number two here, got Chelsea Green, and this is from WWE Basic Series 122. This is the first time, and I believe the only time in the line. What I don't know is if this is the chase figure or the main figure. I'm, I'm honestly not sure, but let's, let's crack it open here. I've always been a fan of Chelsea Green, and especially her, her uh, interactions with uh, Matt Cardona and, and all that stuff. So I really do hope she comes back to WWE sooner rather than later. Um, so this is this is not a bad likeness at all. It's actually better than I, I thought it would be. Um, so she's just wearing mostly black and then a little bit of gold on the outfit. Got the uh, the, the gloves here, or the, the arm wraps, whatever you want to call them. Um, I mean, again, this is basic, but uh, I don't mind it at all. Uh, a welcome addition to my figure collection. Next up is a figure I've had just sort of boxed and waiting for, I don't, I want to say like 45 years now. Uh, this is the collector's edition of uh, WWE Elite collection, Mae Young. And as far as I know, this is the only Mae Young figure uh, that was ever made. I could be incorrect it says first time in the line but there could have been one made by jack specific or you know something before that but not as far as i know and of course i'm having a bit of difficulty because i've had this figure for so long now i don't know what a lot of people would do with a may young figure like maybe if you have sorry the old lady's falling apart here um I don't, you know, if you have a, a Mark Henry or something, she comes with a little crown, sure, why not? And then, I don't know if this is the bathing suit she wore at the Royal Rumble, um, uh, where she, she showed off her fake puppies. But uh, just to, to show you here, so, I mean, the, fake, the, the the likeness is good. It is really good. I mean, this is obviously an older Mae Young, so I don't know how active she'd be in, in terms of in-ring escapades. But also it comes with this, there's an alternate pair of hands, which whatever. But then there's also the Mae Young Classic uh, Trophy that was a thing for a little while. So 
that's cool. It's a cool little bonus. Uh, again, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, have a figure fed or something like that, you're probably not going to use Mae Young that often. You're not going to have her face Becky or Chelsea or anything like that. But fine, whatever. It's it's, it's a, she's a legend. She was a trailblazer, and I'm uh, I'm glad I've got her as a figure in my collection. Next up in our Megasode unboxing is Io Shirai. I should be able to fit this better into the camera. From Basic Series 124. She's now, of course, Io Sky. But I wanted an Io for my collection, especially now that she's returned to action with, uh, with Bailey and Dakota Kai. And why not? Um, the funny thing about this, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a Again, for a basic figure, it's not bad at all. Um, if you look at her facial expression, she looks like she's very sad, she's crying or something like this. What I really should have done if I thought this thing through is uh, purchase the the Elite Eo Shirai that came with the outfit and everything like that. That was, I mean, an amazing figure, but I just never purchased it at the time. As it is, it's fine. Um, just very basic black outfit. So there's this dark reddish brown hair and the, uh, the facial expression is kind of funny, but uh, happy to have this in my collection. As we continue along, the next one to unbox, I purchased this off Amazon, I believe, while they've got the, the bubble wrap packaging around it, um, but I'm actually kind of excited for this one. If I can get the bubble wrap off, that is. Destroying the packaging here, but it is. The Elite China from WrestleMania 20, sorry, WrestleMania 37 Elite, if I, I believe I've got that right, maybe it's 36. Um, so let's just open it up and see why this is such a big deal. I do have a China figure, but it's the DX one, the DX Army, so if I'm doing a women's division, you know, that one, I'm not going to break her up from the DX Army. Um, and this is a very different look. Kind of. This is when she was, you know, uh, you know, full-time competitor when she was the women's champion. Uh, I can't remember if it was at WrestleMania. Maybe it was. Um, there's a there's a few China figures that are out there now, but this is this is probably my favorite of the bunch. So you can see she comes with the women's the WWE Women's Championship, which uh, did not exist for a long time because the Divas title after that she doesn't seem to want to stand. Um, we know that. But uh, just a great look. You can see just a uh, really good, maybe not, maybe I can't seem to get the focus here. Um, really good facial expression. Uh, she obviously looks much larger than some of the other uh, women's division competitors here. But that's, I mean, that was her. And uh, just, so just basically the purple uh, outfit and black trunks. But here's what also is interesting about this figure. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out my camera here for a second. Um, so it also comes with alternate hands, which whatever, we don't think we need alternate hands because it's China. But also Rocco, Rocco the dummy. And um, Rocco's arms and legs do not move, but who cares, it's Rocco. You've got an opportunity here for her to put uh, hands up Rocco. And I'm just gonna put him down for a second because this also comes with two arms, two uh, arms in a black jacket. And why is that important? I'll tell you right now, because here, I really gotta work on the camera work here, sorry. This is a mega sode, I just, I can't even, I don't have time to think about it, but Precious Paul Ellering, I was missing his arms and his arms do not want to cooperate here, but, oh, there we go, we got, well, he, now he's falling apart. Just assume, for argument's sake, I'm able to fit both arms in, put the legs back on, put Rocco in here. I now have a complete Paul Bellering, and that's uh, that's pretty awesome. But going back to China, I do like this figure a lot. It just, it, it's sort of that, towards the end of the Attitude Era, China, and uh, just a very different one than they've, they've had in, in previous incarnations. And now moving right along with our women's division, Megasode, we've got this championship showdown 
two pack. This is series number seven. And of course you can't see who it is. So I'm gonna hold them way back here, or I'm just gonna move my camera. And it is Ray Ripley and Charlotte Flair. Um, I will tell you right now, these are not the, the best versions of either competitor. It's, uh, th these are very basic figures. And as a result, the, the deco on here just takes a big hit because it's not the best, but let's, let's see what we've got. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna say Charlotte Flair, if I can find the camera here, is okay. Um, better than I thought, to be honest with you. So she's got this purple outfit with uh, some highlights here. It's not, you know, huge on deco or anything like that, but it's a good, maybe? It's a good face scan of the queen. So that that's not bad. Uh, like I said, I, I was expecting worse. Um, so I'm just gonna put her down for a second. Rhea, I can tell you right now, keen to get her out of here. Uh, I can tell you right now, this is not the best Rhea Ripley at all. Uh, the the outfit just looks like, like definitely you can tell it's it's painted on. It's supposed to, instead of like molded or anything like that. Um, I mean, it's it's semi recent. It's I'm sure it's probably based on when her she had her feud with Charlotte Flair. She doesn't. I don't know. She doesn't look tall enough. She looks like shorter than Charlotte, which is maybe, maybe that's accurate. I don't know. Um, it's just, face scan is okay, but I just can't get past the outfit here. It just, it feels very, very lazy and very basic. Um, in terms of this being a, a championship showdown, two pack, there's also uh, somewhere in here, a title gimmick. So it's the, you can see the NXT championship. And then you can uh, you can put the the wands on them to pose them just as we did you know a few episodes back with uh, Cesaro and Roman Reigns, um, but whatever. I'm certainly not going to be using this to display anybody. But uh, so just to recap here, Charlotte good, Rhea yeah. But uh, this is these are big additions to the women's division shelf that I'll be building. And then last but not least in our women's division megasode. We've got another championship showdown. This is series nine. I keep forgetting that I've got to hold this way, way back for to see the entire package, but it is Bailey and Sasha Banks. So let's let's crack this open. Again, it's got the uh, the belt gimmick. This is the women's championship uh, one. So the idea is you plug these little ones in and you can have them, you can pose them or things like that. I'm not gonna do that at all. Um, Women's Championship. And then from here. So we've got Sasha Banks, and as I'm recording this, she's not yet returned to WWE in uh, September of early September 2022. But this looks relatively current. Um, not a, a huge fan of the just sort of white outfit because she usually has more colorful uh, gear on, but uh, we've got the, the arm gimmick here. So they attempted to do something a little bit different. Um, this is definitely not the best Sasha Banks out there, but if you're trying to build your collection in a hurry like I am, it's okay, it's fine. I, I may have to upgrade this at one point. I'm just deciding right now. And then our final competitor, is Bailey and uh, Bailey recently returned at, at SummerSlam and I've got to say for a basic figure this is not bad at all it's got the shorter hair uh, so you can heal Bailey I mean she looked a little bit different upon return but not much different um, it's got like, little sort of studded deco hits and then her, her logo on her chest uh, and then the arm the the gloves I guess uh, and, and then short boots this is not a bad Bailey at all. I'm sure there are better, like more detailed ones and, and what have you, but I would, uh, I like the face scan a lot on this one. And this is probably one of the better uh, figures I've got here in my fledgling women's division uh, series. So just in conclusion here, we've got nine 
uh, women, uh, women's division competitors, uh, two of which as of this, uh, this filming are no longer with WWE and two who are uh, no longer with us, period. But uh, overall, for, for basic figures, uh, the only one I really don't love is, is Rhea Ripley. The rest are fine uh, additions to a collection. I'm just starting out right now. and We'll see where that goes. But for uh, Bulldogs Unboxings, I'm Canadian Bulldog. Thank you for watching.